Today is April 19th, 2021, and this is your daily Half-Life 3 update. Uh, there is no news about Half-Life 3. Yesterday, I asked you guys for questions. Said I would answer the best one in today's update. That comes from Paul the Fonz, who asked which TV show or movie has made me cry the most, if at all. Uh, I don't cry all that much when watching a movie or TV show, uh, but there are there are there are a select few that will you know usually do it for me. Uh, TV shows Lost, you know, there's there's a couple good emotional scenes in Lost, especially towards the end. Uh, Friday Night Lights is a, such a well done show, and there's definitely a couple couple emotional moments in there that get me sometimes. Uh, I think that's it for TV, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I do. Yeah, I, th I think that's it for TV. Uh, movies. There's really only one movie I, that, I, I, that I would say I cry in, and that would be It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, that ending always gets me, no matter how many times I see it, and I see it about once a year. You know, I, every Christmas I see that movie, amongst other Christmas movies. Uh, but yeah, the, the ending of that movie always always gets me. You know? uh, there have been one or two movies that got me emotional, you know, that got me like teary-eyed, but I didn't cry, so to speak. Uh, uh, there were a couple moments in Force Awakens when I saw it the first time that kind of got me. Uh, and not like, and not like the, um, and not because they were like sad, I guess just like the emotion of it in general. Uh, you know, scenes like uh, when Han Solo's back in the cockpit for the first time with the Liam Falcon, uh, when Ray grabs uses the force to grab the lightsaber and the force theme really kicks in strong that would that's a good emotional moment uh honestly, I got a little teary eyed seeing uh, C3PO come back in in that movie that was one of my favorite parts of the movie when his introduction scene cuz you know I wasn't expecting C3PO you know when you're when you're thinking about The Force Awakens and all the things you'll see or might see or might not see, for some reason C-3PO didn't cross my mind. I hadn't considered him. And so C-3PO shows up. I'm like, oh my god, C-3PO. That's great. Uh, and of course I got a little teary-eyed when Han Solo died. I mean, I don't think... I don't think it would have that effect on me again if I, you know, if I saw it right today. That was just, you know, a situational type thing uh i got a little i got a little emotional a couple times in logan as well or maybe just once uh it was the scene where at the we're at the farm and you're going into this movie kind of expecting you know that professor x isn't going to make it out of this and there was a scene at the farm where they're in the house and and it, and it was basically the last time Professor X and Logan interacted. And I watched that scene and kind of like, I kind of knew that this was going to be their last interaction before he died somehow. I was like, and so I, I, I like knew that. I'm like, oh, this is the last time they're going to talk with each other. And that got me a little emotional. But, you know, just like teary. Yeah, I didn't actually cry. I don't think a movie could really make me cry. Because I, I don't have enough emotional connection to what's going on or what's happening for me to actually do that. But but uh, It's a Wonderful Life, I think, does manage to, ex to succeed in that regard. Of it, it tells a really good, strong story, and it's well, it's well told. So that's that. That's where that. It's wonderful. Life is really like the one exception to me basically never crying for movies, and that's why I'm more likely to cry for a TV show because you have 
that uh, you have that time built into it. You know these characters uh, for much longer than you do for a you know two and a half hour movie if you're lucky. You know, like a two hour movie or an hour and a half movie. You know, that's no time to get emotionally connected to characters. And I don't. I also I don't cry for like cheap emotional stuff. Like I, I don't cry for stuff that they're trying to get you to cry at. You know, if they kill a dog in a movie, that's a cheap emotional ploy that they're trying to you know force in a reaction out of you. That doesn't make me cry. That's it's just whatever. I mean, the dog didn't actually die. It's a movie. You know, I I know that. Uh, what's with the lighting? Anyway. I like turned my head and like... It's weird. Uh, yeah. The, yeah, that's what... Like I was saying, that's... TV shows are more likely to make me cry because the long uh, emotional at at attachment that you can... You know, you, you really get to know these characters and understand them and connect with them. But even still, of all the TV shows I've watched, that's only happened on, you know, like at least two of them. You know, Lost and Friday Night Lights. And maybe if I rewatched Prison... I mean, not Prison, but maybe if I rewatched Heroes, I might get a little emotional for that. And it, it helps rewatching. Because if I'm watching a TV show for the first time, I'm less likely to get emotional. And if I'm re-watching a TV show, I'm more likely to get emotional during scenes because I have, you know, all the knowledge. Like, I have... I, I don't just know the context of this scene. I know everything else that's going to happen after. You know, so maybe in the first time watching it, you don't realize that it's the last two times. It's the last time these two characters are going to interact. When, when you're rewatching it, then you know this is the last two time, last time, last two time, the last time these two characters are going to interact. Uh, oh boy, is there? I miss doing thirty second updates. Uh, so yeah, if if you have any more questions. Leave them in the comment section below, and I'll answer the best one in tomorrow's update. And that has been your daily Half-Life 3 update for April 19th, 2021.